So this question looks like it's going to be a diagram question. We have a table provided here or a chart. So the, the title here says renewable energy consumption. My X axis is energy sources. My Y axis is consumption uh, with the unit of quadrillion BTU. And I have these different energy sources and I can see how the consumption differs based upon the, uh, the year. So the bar graph above shows renewable energy consumption in quadrillions of British thermal units in the United States by energy source for several energy sources in the years 2000 and 2010. Great. So I, I knew that by looking at the chart or by looking at, you know, the bar graph, but it's always good to read this just in case there's some interesting uh, added information. So question 21 says, in a scatter plot of this data, okay, so this is kind of like other questions where if the question says in the XY plane, you should draw an XY plane. If the question says in a scatter plot, but is, there's no scatter plot um, provided, you should probably draw the scatter plot. So I'm going to just draw it. And I like to do this not because it's a necessity, but because on this test, what I've noticed is that if I have a visual uh, if I have a visual, it usually is helpful for me. So it says, in a scatter plot of this data where renewable energy consumption for the year 2000 is plotted along the x-axis. Okay, so this is 2000. Uh, and renewable energy consumption in the year 2010 is plotted along the y-axis. So this is 2010. How many data points would be above the line y equals x? So if we think about the line y equals x, it's going to be a line that cuts this quadrant like directly in half. And I know that line is not perfect. I didn't use a ruler, but it gives us, gives us a good visual of what we expect to happen. So let's see where this is the case. So for biofuels, if I were graphing that, my 2000 number is looks like it's at 0.25, but my 2010 number is at 1.6. So if I were to graph this and say that this is 0 0.25, then that would mean, again, that this would be 0 0.25 again, because we want this line to be y equals x. But 1.6 would be, let's see, this is 0 0.25, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, 1.25, 1 1.5. We'd be way up here, and that point is definitely above the line y equals x. So we have one of these working out for us so far. For geothermal, um, it looks like both of these are about 0 0.2, 0 0.23 or so. Um, but definitely the 2010 number is above the 2000 number. So I think that gives us a hint, right? So let's think about what all this means. The line y equals x means that, right, x and y is the same. Now, we know that x is the 2,000, the numbers of consumption from the year 2000, and y are the numbers for consumption from the year 2010. So anytime this 2010 number is bigger, right, so anytime this happens, or we can say anytime that happens, right, and just to be clearer, anytime the value for 2010 is bigger than the value for 2000, we should get a point, right, above the y equals x line. So where does that happen? Well, it does happen in geothermal, only slightly, but it does happen, so it's bigger, so that also counts. For hydroelectric, 2010 is lower than 2000, right, so that point would be below the line, so we can cross that out. For wind, the 2010 number is much higher than the 2000 number, so that's going to definitely be above the line. And for wood, the 2010 number is lower than the 2000 number, so we can cross that out. So we have wind that works for us, geothermal, and biofuels. So we have three data points that would be above y equals x, so choice C is the best answer.